Good morning, College View Apartments. Hello, this is Brad. I'm a tenant here at College View. Uh-huh. And uh, I need to let you know of this um, issue. We've, we, uh, we had kind of a sinkhole happen in our bedroom. What, which apartment are you in, Brad? I don't know. I just sleep on the couch. But what I'm saying is we had this sinkhole in the bedroom. So we pulled up the carpet, and there's kind of like uh, some space underneath the apartment. There's like a large room. Okay, who is the tenant in, uh, uh, that we're talking about? Uh, Steve. Who lives there? Steve. Pardon uh, me? Steve. His name is Steve, but I just sleep on the couch. Well, you're not the tenant, and I need to know which apartment you're talking about. Go to the front door and tell me the number on it. 53. But I'm in the bedroom right now. I'm working on, uh, um, you know, I'm building a staircase down into this room that we've discovered. Okay, 53. We don't have anyone living in 53. Oh, it's Are you sure you got the right apartment complex? Oh, yeah, definitely. It's the one on, on Lane. Okay, and I need to talk to the... Uh, what is the Steve's last name? It doesn't matter. I don't want you to come over yes, or anything. it does matter because you're not the tenant, and he needs to call me and tell me you which apartment he's talking about. You are being a huge jerk. I'm just trying to explain things to you, you big jerk. He's got a sinkhole in the bedroom, a large hole. He's got, you can see the room downstairs, but he says he lives in 53. He can't possibly live in 53 because it's empty. Is it 51, then? Oh, is Steven... on the couch. He's not... Uh, and I'm being a jerk because I'm not listening to him. I need to know the apartment number, please. Okay, well, stop being rude and talking to other people while you're on the phone with me. I think Go it's... to the front door and tell me the number on the, on the door. Oh, look, it's 51. I'm sorry. I thought it was 53. Okay, 51. Uh, so you're not the tenant there. Mar- uh, Marlene is the tenant. Uh, Marlene, I forgot. No. I think that's her first name. No. Marlene, um, that's so Steve's you're wife. Telling me that's Steve's girlfriend. That there's a hole. That's a hole going down. I'll have to come up and look at it. No, okay? no, no, you're not allowed to come in. I'm not. I'm not inviting you over. That's not what this call's about. Well, if you've got a problem with that it, apartment, uh, if it's an emergency, we no. have to go in, whether you're inviting us in or not. It's not an emergency. So what Let, is her phone? Look, what we, is her phone number we, that I can call her? This hole happened over a month ago, and we've been exploring the caves underneath the apartments. You know, and, you're not being uh, this. You're 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 not being. Uh, uh, you're you're not telling me what I need to know. Okay. When, well, you're what not, kind of hole are you talking about? It's about. Where, it's about. Where is it? It's about three foot by six foot. It's in the front in the front bedroom. And well, there's it, only one bedroom. Uh, there's a living room and a bedroom. Well, I consider the living room my bedroom because I sleep on the couch. Well, I didn't... There, you know, people can't just come here and live without me knowing that they're living here. She's the tenant in that apartment, not you. Well, I've I've been here a month now. I need to find out, first of all, um, do, do we pay for water? Or I need th- to talk with her. I need to talk with her. She needs to call me. But we do need to come up and look at what you're talking about because... If that's a hole, that's an emergency. No, it's not an emergency. It's been here a month. There, there is a large cavernous area. I'm going to let you talk. I'm going to let you talk to our main office. <sighs> All right. They'll be more reasonable than I'm you, from, probably. Uh, I would like to know what apartment you're in. Fifty one. Fifty one. Yeah, I already. You're... I have to do all this again. Uh, yes. And you'd better get out of there. You're trespassing. I am from the main office, and I'm here right now, and we are going in. It's an emergency. You have a hole. That's, That's not an emergency. Say. It's been here a month now, and we're exploring well, the cave. What, what kind of a hole is it? it there's uh, uh, caves underneath. It's like it's, I think this used to be an entrance, maybe. Uh, but there are caves underneath. We've built a stairwell that leads down to the cave now inside of the bedroom. I, I'm I'm the uh, you know I I've been hired by Marine to do this work, so I'm not trespassing. You're in number fifty one. Yes. I've got to go and see it immediately because no. I'm the one who orders repairs. Okay, ma'am, I need to explain something to you. I'm I am now the head of an archaeological dig team, and uh, we've registered with the state of Nebraska already. I mean the state of California, and you're not allowed to come in here. This is officially a dig site. And it's protected by the state of California. Where are you digging? We're, we're um, well. There's caves underneath. There's lots of skeletons and skulls and stuff. It's there a, are not caves underneath this apartment complex. Oh, there definitely are. Because we. What is the name of the complex? We've been exploring them for over a month now. 
What is the name of the complex? College View Apartments. I don't know why you're yelling at me. <laughs> no. She's tongue right up. Good morning, College View Apartments. Hi, that lady, that mean lady, she hung up on me. I was in the middle of telling her something. Well, if you were telling her anything she needed to know, that's the reason why she uh, stopped talking to you. Well, she asked, she asked me a question, and I answered it, and she hung up. We can't go in. Yes, we can go in. No, she absolutely cannot go in. And, and she doesn't have any rights to come down into the caves, because I've registered it. I think that you're mentally ill, is what I think, because... Because what? We have no caves. There are caves. You we just have don't, no caves here. You just didn't know where the entrance to them was, but our bedroom started sinking because of the faulty, you know, cheap wood that you used on our floors. Okay, I'm Start- going to have to hang up also, okay? Why? Thank you. Why? Thank you for calling, College View Apartment. Shall I go ahead and call the police or call her first? Hello? <laughs> No, so she's saying that it's there. She has, she has uh, a business phone. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Yeah, At the is. tone, That's please so record your message. Marine, this is Colleen at uh, College View Apartments. We have kind of an emergency here. Hey, hey, my hole is not an emergency, lady. My hole is not an emergency. I had this hole yeah. for a month now, and you're not allowed to come in. God damn it. So, yet another bizarre happening while I'm calling apartment managers. I don't know how that could happen, but that's the second time that's happened to me in the past couple years. Somehow, apartment managers just bridge me on with a tenant, or in this case, a call to a tenant's voicemail. Thanks, Neon Like Bjork, for giving me the number to this apartment complex. Those old ladies were hilarious. To be alerted when any show host goes on the air from Prank Call Nation, you should subscribe to Facebook.com slash Prank Call Nation and Twitter.com slash Prank Call Nation, and you'll never miss a live show again. And if you want to hear the entire show, click on the link on the top of your screen and listen to the entire thing. It'll be just like you were there with us.